choose to be the best that I can be. I choose to be courageous in everything I do. My past don't dictate who I am, cause I choose. If I could talk to my 16 year old self, I'd say, um, just don't worry, like don't worry too much. As long as you make sure that you're doing the best that you can and doing what you're happy doing, what you're interested in, that is like the most you can ask of yourself. At the moment, I work for a small charity called the Diaspora Volunteering Alliance. Um, I work as an administrator there and I've been doing that for the last two years. I would define myself as as someone whose sense of identity is quite different in different contexts. So being born over here, being British, um, but also being of Jamaican heritage, that kind of defines how I see the world. It's definitely something that should be um, celebrated more. I am an advanced neonatal nurse practitioner. What that means is your role and function is to look after sick preterm and term babies. Um, and that covers absolutely everything from their coming into life as a sick baby or a preterm baby to stabilizing them and getting them ready for going home to their parents if they survive. It's quite a, um, how should I put it, a very challenging job. My experience with racial identity was when I migrated here in my late teens. In Jamaica, it wasn't, we're all black people. There's some people fairer than you, but there's not much of a difference in terms of how they were treated at all. So coming here, it was kind of a culture shock. Like, wow, I'm different, really? Then you switch on the telly, and the things that you saw about black people are really negative, very stereotypical. And that affected me because it made you feel smaller, like you didn't count. That did not sway me. I thought, no, I'm going to stand up and be counted. You know, you are who you are, strong, amazing, spirited. Don't let anyone take that away from you. My name is Pauline Curtis. I am a criminal lawyer, so I'm a senior crown prosecutor. And I'm also the founder of Aiming Higher Community Mentoring Programme. I am a career I've always wanted to be a lawyer, but I just assumed I could do it because my parents said, oh, that's right, Sanj, because they called me Sandra, that's right, Sanj. I assumed I could do it. And then when I was 13 years old, I remember I had done a biology uh, test and I got 20 out of 20, and my teacher said that I cheated. So not that I did very well, but that I cheated. And so after that, I thought I wasn't good enough. And so I forgot my dream about becoming a lawyer. So it was something of a lofty aspiration that nobody understood. But I got there in the end, and I think I got there because of the initial belief my parents had in, in what I could do. My definition of success is being able to bring my passion into whatever I do. It leaves me going away feeling really empowered. Um, and I think it brings me closer to who I am. My name is Joy. I've been in this country for over 50 years. You know, most of us now we have got our own houses and then 20 or 30 years ago all right say 30 years ago black people was just living in one room you know and then you could hardly get anywhere when you do get a room you know it would be from the same black people because you'd see the sign no Irish, no blacks, no no children, no dogs. If you have an aim and you want it, then you just have to reach for it. But you can. If that is what you want, you can. Mm -hmm.